Hey guys, welcome to episode 34 of my Let's Play. Um, as you can see here, I've got another record. It's cool. Um, let's just have a listen. Hmm, spooky kind of music. That's cool. Um, I've been burning some more coal in here. Oh no, here we go. Okay, maybe not. Interesting. Anyway, let's get started today. Um, I've been collecting quite a bit of creosote oil, which will be very helpful in the long run, of course. But before I got to that, I wanted to mention I added another three combustion engines here. It's still at frequency one, like the other one. But I could, uh, I can change that around later on. But what I want to do quickly is get started on making a centrifuge, so I can harvest some. Oh, meadows queen and tropical drone. Nice. Wow. Lots of drones. Can you stack them? No, you can't. Okay. But I want to get started on uh, getting some of those resources from the honeycombs that I've been getting. So let's quickly look up how a centrifuge is made. It's quite a nice tune. I like it. Let's see. Copper and a sturdy machine. Okay. That's cool. Got plenty of that stuff. Just take the whole stack. What's going on? There we go, and we need some glass. Let's come over here. Get our sturdy machine. A centrifuge, nice. Now this guy does require power to run. And to run faster. Um, your best bet is to use combustion engines. So I think I'll supply it with some power over here. Should I? I'll, I should put my centrifuge in there. You know, that makes sense. Let's put this in here. Um, I don't like having this chest all the way down here. Don't have my art oh, chainsaw will work. What? Can't you break this thing? Oh, you can, okay. You have to use a drill. So I think I'm going to move all these down. Unfortunately. Yep, I'll get my stuff back. Yes, I did plan them for them, uh, plan the windows so that they'd get down here, but... Ah, uh, well, I'll change it later on, just to make it seem nicer. I want to take out one, two. I think that's the right spot. Yep. Yep, that's fine. Cool. So I've moved them up a bit further up. And these ferns, I'll have to move them. Don't want them too close to this one. Okay, cool. Let's hook up some power to this guy. So we'll need a teleport pipe. Let's see, I have a few left. Mm, let's grab the golden one. Cool, I have one. So we've left it at frequency 1, so I think we'll do that. Hit 1, receive true. And when I switch them on, it will power this uh, centrifuge here. Let's get it facing the right way. Like this. There we go. Cool. So I'll start off with uh, these honeycombs. Let me quickly go to sleep. Okay, it's not night nice yet. And I still don't have a way of automatically putting oil, uh, fuel into these engines, but that's alright, I'll deal with that later on. 
a bucket in each should be enough for now. I'm not doing anything major with build craft yet. Oh, got some fuel in there. And I'll just put the other one back. Let's switch this on. This lever will switch both on, but this has no uh, fuel, so it won't do anything. Cool. They're just getting warmed up. Let's go to sleep now. And pretty soon we'll see a few products being produced in our centrifuge. That's cool. Let's see. Oh, that was quick. Honey drops. Wow, that got rid of all of them. Let's see what the silky comb gives us. Propolis. Silky propolis. Nice. And a bit of honey drops. Cool. That's pretty quick. I like that. I'm gonna borrow a few of these honey drops and grab my beer lizer. Remember, I made that from uh, the previous episode. And I can finally analyze some of my bees. I can learn a bit more about them. Where is it? There it is. Let's have a look. Beer lizer. Let's start off with our tropical drone. Give it a bee drop. A honey drop, sorry. Apis Mandela, not sure what that means. Okay, let's see. Flowers, jungle, fertility, two. That basically means uh, it will, I believe, give off two offspring when it dies. So one drone and one princess. So the speed is slower, lifespan short, species tropical. So this is a purebred tropical drone. Let's see. Effect poison. That means that it might poison me if I get too close when it's working. Number two. Both one, down one, that's just a tolerance. Okay, nothing too interesting here. Possible produce, just this stuff. And mutations, I haven't found out any of them. So basically you can breed them with, I believe... Uh, okay, um, you know, with other... I want to say tropical. I'm not too sure about that. Let's see this drone... Okay, so once you put it in, it'll give you the details of that drone. So, let's see, let's analyze this princess. See, it's another purebred. And the uh, fertility is still two. All these drones are pretty similar, I'm pretty sure. And it's another purebred meadows. Flowers. So, nothing too interesting. Until I start crossbreeding them, of course. Okay, let's uh, breed them again. This princess goes in the top. Meadow's drone. Let's try breeding it with a tropical drone. Let's see what happens. Meadow's queen, unknown genome. Let's see what's in this Meadows Queen. Let's see, inactive. What? It just ate up that uh, tropical thing. Oh no, wait. Inactive. You see, there's a bit of a cross. Uh, no, well, there's a bit of crossover with the properties here. This uh, accepts f uh, jungle flowers as the inactive genome or something, I think. Yep, and it has a chance of poisoning still. That's the inactive side though, so it's probably not going to happen. Let's see. Yep, you can see there's a few of those jungle genes in this uh, queen now. And it still only produces that. So, and we've discovered no mutations yet. That's cool. So, not too much of a fail, which is good. And I'm just going to keep breeding a few more of these uh, trop tropical purebred bees in here. And nothing I can do because I've got no more princesses. So, I'll just chuck the rest of these bees in here. Can I put this in here? No, I can't. That's alright. I might just have another chest here. Okay, so I've put a chest here. I'm just going to chuck this stuff in there. And this guy's done. Got a bit of bee with beeswax, that's cool. I'll switch off the power over there. So, that won't waste any power. And this stuff can be used to make a few things, but I won't get into that right now see, warm both, short life, okay, that's cool. I really need to go look for more uh, of these beehives, but that's alright. Now, let's get started on some 
railcraft stuff. Now, I want to uh, grab myself a bunch of iron, a uh, bunch of wood, which I'm low on, so I'll use a few of these iron ingots to get me a decent amount of wood. Should make a tree farm soon. And what? I can't target wood. Hold on, let me grab some wood. Okay, here we go. Wood. What? Wow, wood's worth quite a bit. Let's transmute some of our tin, because we've got plenty of that stuff. There we go, plenty of that. Oh, wow, that's a lot. I can even get diamonds out of this. Wow, that's cool. But right now, I want some iron. What? Okay, so I've used up all of that. Let's grab some chicken and some more wood. Okay. That's cool. And let's grab some of this creosote oil that I've been uh, building up. And basically, Royalcraft um, changed the recipe for making uh, all these cool rails. And it's a bit more realistic. You need to make wooden slabs. Wow, my inventory is so full. I think I might have done a bit of an overkill with all that wood. But anyway. This is how you create wooden tires. These are a very important component in making your rails. So I'm going to get as many as I can. Pointy. That's not a lot. Alright, that's not a lot. I'm going to get more of these wooden slabs. Man, this wood is annoying me. I've got too much. Why can't I stack this wood? Are there different types of wood or what? I don't know. Okay, there's the max. What is this? Okay. So I'm just making a bunch of wooden slabs here. Oh, that's gonna be annoying. And let's just grab these. Whatever. Okay, let's use up our creosote oil. Awesome, 57. That should be okay now. The next thing I need to make is a rolling machine. Just four pistons, workbench, and some iron. That's cool. I'll just make that right here. Should be enough. So I need four of those. Four pistons, a workbench, four pistons and four iron. Cool. Rolling machine. This guy's very important in making uh, these uh, railcraft machines. And where should I place him? It's so dark here. This guy over, I don't know, here. Yeah, that's cool. Rolling machine. Before I do that, let's look up the recipe for a rail. You see, you just these standard rails, which are made from the rolling machine. And you need to do this, I believe. There we go. Standard rails. That will give us six of them. And we also need to combine uh, four wooden ties, which have... No, there they are like that, and that will give us the rail bed that you saw. And one of these plus six of these will give us 24 rails. Cool. That's how you make rails. It's a long process, but it's more realistic, and it's a little bit more resource-wise, cost resource-wise, because you need to get this and use quite a bit of wood. But then again, since when could you get 16 rails from one stick? 
I mean seriously. I like that change, it's uh, more realistic, but I'll be right back when I make a few more of those rails. Okay, so I've made myself a bunch of rails, that should be enough for now. And I'm going to get started on uh, an item from Steve's Carts, this is the Simple AI Miner. And this guy is really cool. First of all, I need to make myself a building cart, a mine cart with engine, which is just a mine cart and an engine. And that's uh, pretty easy to make, I'll show you right now. First of all, you need a mine cart, obviously. And you need a furnace. And then you surround it with iron, and that will give you the engine. There we go, engine. That will give us the mine cart with engine. Then we need to make it a building cart, which you do by adding this thing on top. Got our rails, got our iron, and a cobblestone. Cool. And put that on there. That'll give us a building cart. Now we can use this. Uh, this will build rails for us, but we can add to a few more. Uh, we can add a few more functions to it by upgrading it once again. By make it a, mi a mining gadget to make it a mining cart. So right now, if we upgrade it to that stage, um, it will. Hold on, so let me. I need four diamond. Wow. A stack of tin is worth two diamonds. That's good to know. So we need to make our diamond tools to make that gadget. There we go, cool. And surround it like this. That'll give us the mining gadget. Okay, had a bit too much iron. That's fine. There we go, mining gadget. This will give us the build mining cart. And if we click on here, mining cart with chest is basically just uh, upgraded with the chest. That's all. That's easy. So what this mining cart will do, it will mine, place tracks, and store anything it mines in the chest. That's cool. And last but not least, we'll upgrade it to a simple AI miner. That means it has some intelligence by making a simple PCB. So we need to grab some gold. Okay. Wait, I didn't need four gold. Oh well. Redstone. There we go, simple PCB. And chuck this on top. Simple AI miner. Awesome, this guy's cool. Let's go and place him. He needs some coal to operate, I believe. But I'm pretty sure we can use some of this coal coke that we've produced. Because my coal has some other uses. This didn't protect me. Oh well. Let's get him started right here. Alright. Let's have a look at this guy. Cool. He takes fuel, takes rails, and this is inventory. This is a, a gap for building materials, bridge building. So if he comes over a gap, it will bridge over it with these wooden planks. Now, this can control how far you want it to go down to. And these just shows the levels where you can find diamonds. So below level 16 or 17, you can find diamonds. Uh, below level 19, you'll find redstone, gold, iron, lapis, and coal. So that's what those mean. I wanted to go down about level 14. Looks good. So this guy will go. I'll need to give it some fuel. I believe it will take this stuff. Yep. Yep, and it's mining it out for me. Awesome. Now, it will be pretty dark down there, but that's why... what? It's got no tracks, right? So I'll give you all these tracks. And it will take out my torches. That's alright. So this guy will go down and start digging for me. 
Now, it, once us, uh, once again, it uh, it will get quite dark down there. Oh. Well, that's all right. Hopefully, it won't dig out the torches I've made. No, it'll be fine. Um, but as it goes down, it will get deeper and deeper, and then once it reaches level 14, it will go straight forward. So I don't want it to go straight forward too far. I want to use another machine to do that. Well, this will get me uh, a nice way down to a level 16 or 17. No, I put 14. Right. Yep, that's cool. But there's another item that I might want to make next episode that will help me light up that area. But anyway, anyway, you guys, um, this episode's getting up to that 20 minute mark, so hope you guys enjoyed what I've been doing so far. Um, I'll get to a few more machines that I want to make next episode. So hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.